who knew what when about a prescription opiate problem at the Toma VA. A doctor accused of overprescribing drugs and three patients who died. That's what's at issue in the race for U.S. Senate. I served with the 82nd Airborne in Iraq, and ultimately I was medically discharged from the Army. Former Toma VA worker and whistleblower Ryan Honnell is featured in an ad by Freedom Partners Action Fund, a super PAC funded by the Koch brothers. I found out that Russ Feingold got a memo in 2009 that outlined veteran harm, and nothing was done. This needs clarification. The memo in question was sent by a union official that represents Toma workers, Lynn Ellenhusen. We couldn't reach her for this story, but she's made multiple statements about this memo. A news story last October highlights two memos in 2008 and 2009 detailing issues with the doctor and narcotics. Both were marked by Ellinghusen as hand-delivered to the offices of Feingold and other Democrats. But in October, she said she told someone to deliver the memos for her and had no proof they were ever delivered. Then in January, she said she made the delivery note in error and that she had a foggy memory about any meetings with Feingold about issues at Toma. As for Feingold and the other Democrats listed in the report, all of them say they have no record of actually getting the memo. Russ Feingold ignored veterans' concerns while veterans were dying at the facility. This also needs clarification. While the memo detailed unexpected deaths, including suicides, the only death directly linked to this issue happened in 2014, five years later and four years after Feingold was voted out of office. Feingold is instead arguing Johnson is to blame. When Johnson's office learned of the failures at Toma, he did nothing. The complaints changed hands from one aide to another in a congressional black hole. This needs clarification. Johnson's office says Honnell's complaints were sent to a Senate subcommittee. It turns out the paperwork was only sent to another subcommittee aide who never told Chairwoman Senator Claire McCaskill or Senator Johnson. Johnson's aide said he was not personally aware of any issues at the VA until January of 2015. Johnson even admitted they were distracted. Had this not occurred during the election cycle when there's an awful lot of turnover and when people are looking at doing job interviews and stuff. Johnson says two staffers who should have passed along information left for other offices and didn't relay messages properly. Does that mean they were distracted? That's for you to decide. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check.